On the early morning of July the 15th, 2015, Holly Hill community in Orangeburg County experienced a tremendous loss, devastating murder, murders of Tamara Perry, 14, Shamika Sanders, 17, Crystal Huddle, 28, and Jerome Butler, 50. And also the attempted murder of Dreams Nelson, eight years old. I made a comment the day of this incident at a press conference at the scene that we would not rest until the persons that committed this person or persons that committed this crime would be brought to justice. As you can remember, some of you may remember October the 28th. Uh, 2015, I stood right here in this courtroom and I held up these programs, funeral programs. I held them up in this courtroom with heavy heart as a citizen of Orangeburg County, as the sheriff of Orangeburg County, and as a father. Today, I would even put these in the same folder. Today I'm happy to announce that with countless man hours, investigative hours, we traveled uh, many different states, many different institutions, correctional facilities, interviewing many people in this case. And today I can say that we have arrested individuals, one that you may have already seen, Antley Jermaine Scott, Derek Coleman, and Robert Lee Bailey. All three of these individuals have been charged with four counts of murder, one count of attempted murder, one count of burglary first, and one count of possession of a firearm in the commission of a violent crime. Yesterday we had an opportunity, myself, task force, and victim services to meet with the family, the families of the victims and to give them an update on where we are in this case. And today we wanted to give you an update and let you know that the individuals that were arrested, um, and also to let you know that there were joint efforts in investiga investigating this case with uh, obviously the Sheriff's Office, uh, FBI, the Marshal Services, SLED, uh, other agencies, other local agencies, and most recently, uh, agency from Alabama. Our investigations, investigators, investigation led us to Alabama. At that time, when we were looking for uh, one of the suspects, we uh, had investigators in route to Alabama, we contacted the Marshal Service, and they assisted us in picking up uh, one of the arresting one of the suspects, and that was Mr. Coleman. We also arrested in Alabama, Mr. Mr. Scott. On the 27th, we also arrested Mr. Bailey right here in, in Utahville, South Carolina. What I will tell you about Mr. Bailey is that today we will also bring him before a judge at 2.30 today for his arraignment. This investigation is far from over. I want everybody to understand that. Now we are still investigating this case, but we're investigating this case along with people that had prior knowledge of this incident and knowledge after this incident that did not come forward. 
So again, I would say this investigation is far from over and we will ask anybody that have any knowledge of this case, small as you think it might be, the information we need to know about it. Call us and let us know. At this time, we'll try and hear again. Uh, I'll mention again that the investigation is not over, but I will try to answer uh, some of your questions. This, uh, as I said from the beginning and the start of this investigation, this was a different kind of investigation that I have been involved in in 30 years. Um, these individuals that are involved in this, I can't say that they actually ratted themselves out because they are uh, what we have found to be street smart individuals. And, uh, but here again, law enforcement prevail once again. We're a little bit smarter than they are that they think they were. So um, this was a, a lot of man hours, investigate, investigating hours that these guys uh, refused to go home some nights. So uh, this was a, a tough case. And here again, it's far from over. Any ideas on what led to the murders? Well, just like I, I told you all in the beginning uh, and doing, also doing the, the second press conference as far as the um, uh, giving you the profile, uh, the motivation was robbery. And, and that's basically all I can tell you this time as far as uh, 